Where is it gone? Where is it? Good to see. Come on, alright. I will on saw. No. Where's it gone? No. It's in Derby, maybe, maybe it's in Derby. Oh, hi, Claire, what are you doing? Well, I found something in the Bible. No, I'm just looking for something. Well, what are you doing? You seem just, a bit panicked. I'm just trying to find a way to heaven. I think it's in Derby, maybe. I've been looking everywhere. It's not on Google Maps. It's not It's not anywhere. I can't find it. Just say it's okay, calm down. Look, look, it says in the Bible look. how we get... Jesus is... Park. No. Josiah! Where's the way to heaven? Oh my goodness! So good. Josiah, it says in the Bible that Jesus is the way to heaven. It's all here. It's great. Oh. Shall we maybe listen to Miles and see if he can help us understand a little bit that Jesus is the way to heaven? It's not in Derby. No, okay. not in Derby. Okay, sure. Okay. Have a listen. Great. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you, you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 verses 1 to 6. Now I have a think of these questions at home. How does Jesus say we come to the Father? And how many ways are there to come to the Father? How does Jesus say we come to the Father? You can only come to the Father through Jesus. How many ways are there to come to the Father? There is only one way through believing and following Jesus Christ. Great, thanks Miles. So today we're going to think mainly about what Jesus says in verse six, where he says he's the way, the way. And he's very specific about where he's the way to. He's not saying he's the way to the supermarket or the way to school or the way to your grandparents' house. He's saying he's the way to the Father, to his Father and our Father who is in heaven. And did you spot what he said? There's no other way to the Father except through Jesus. He is the only way. It's not that there's a main front door to heaven which Jesus is holding open for us, but there's actually a door around the side as well if you want to go in a different way. There is no other way to heaven where God the Father is, except through Jesus. Just to try and help us understand what Jesus is saying, have a go at this maze and at answering these questions. You can answer the questions from situations in life, or you can have a go at the maze first and see if that helps you answer the questions. So I wonder how quickly you managed to work out which way led to the pot of honey. Near the bear there were four different ways to try, but only one of them actually leads to the honey. And maybe you tried each one in turn and you found that they didn't actually lead to the honey until the last one you tried. Maybe you decided that the quickest way to know which one leads to the honey is to start at the honey and work your way back to the bear. And then you know the right way straight away. Well, if you look at the Bible passage again, that's exactly what Jesus is saying he's done for us. Jesus says in verse three that he's gone to prepare a place in heaven for those who believe in him 
and that he's then going to come back and take them to be with him in heaven with the father. It's as if he's starting at the honeypot and is coming back to get the bear and then taking him on the right path with him, on the right way with him. And I wonder what you said to the question, what happens when we don't know the way somewhere? Well, sometimes we get frustrated. Sometimes we start to feel worried and start to panic. And Jesus wanted to reassure those who believe in him that they didn't need to feel like that. They don't need to worry that they couldn't get to be with God the Father in heaven. Instead, he's telling them that he is the way to the Father in heaven. All they need to do is to keep believing in him. So why does it matter for us today that Jesus is the way to be with God the Father forever in heaven? Well, if you're anything like me, you might often find yourself worried about making the right choice or the wrong choice, or worried that you might not end up with God in heaven. Well, the good news here is that amidst all the choices we have to make, what clothes to wear, what to spend our money on, who we should be friends with, and many others, not one of them is going to stop us getting to be with God the Father in heaven if we keep trusting and believing in Jesus. Jesus doesn't want us to spend our lives worrying about whether we're going to get to be with God in heaven or not. We don't need to be like Josiah at the beginning, getting in a real panic about finding out how to get to heaven. Jesus has showed us the way. He is the way. So with each of these choices and many others that we have to make, we can pray to Jesus and ask him to help us make the right choices. But we can also be sure that we can stop worrying about them all because he's given us the answer to the biggest question any of us can ever have. How can we get to be with God the Father in heaven? Well, we can keep believing and trusting in Jesus by trusting that he is the way to heaven for us. So knowing that Jesus is the only way to God the Father in heaven means that I don't have to worry. And that's amazing news for us who trust and believe in Jesus today. And if you don't yet trust and believe in Jesus, it's not too late. He's inviting everyone to choose him as the way to God the Father in heaven.